What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And today we are talking about Soul Emblems. Yes, we are going to be talking about Soul Emblems. And I'm going to hint at training just a little bit because I want to get, have time to actually break down what the community board is and give y'all that inside scoop or not inside scoop because it's speculation on my part. But I have strong belief that I'm right about <laughs> what I'm going to talk about. But before we get into that, guys, if you're looking for a good gaming chair, check out Ewin Racing. Their lineup of chairs link is in the description box below. I have one. It's nice. I love it. Use DM code, uh, promo code DM Gamer for 25% off. That does stack on top of any other discounts and stuff they have going on. Don't forget to follow me on these social media platforms and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Straight into it. Bandai Namco acquires soul emblems as you progress through the story or sub quest in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Um, soul emblems will activate different effects in the game. You can also power up your super attacks in the training grounds. Play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in 2020. So I want to start with the training grounds because the soul emblems and the community board is going to be the bulk of what we're talking about because from what I've read and studied from the images, I know what they mean. So let's get into training. This is the training ground with Goku and Piccolo. Piccolo. And uh, interesting thing about training grounds is you can power, not only power up your super attacks, uh, but also, as you level up, according to Kenzaru, your character actually gets faster uh, and they're able to teleport and stuff like that a lot faster. So it's Goku here, training ground with Piccolo. You see cars in the background and stuff like that. That's really cool, but I digress. But what they're not showing here is the other image of Goku. Um, there was two images that I posted, two pictures. As a matter of fact, let's go and uh actually let's go look and see on my page because i shared them uh that's the game and share it there's that so emblems it's got to be on it's got to be on here let's go tweets and replies maybe it's on there uh yeah right here so we finally got some details about training so apparently we can train and power up our super attacks through training. Notice how the Kamehameha got bigger. This is fire. So you see here in the first image, this is one of Goku's Kamehameha's. And it's showing you on the next image, it's powered up. See how much bigger it is? That is dope, y'all, because we talked about stuff like this with training. How you would, how I always wish that you could make your attacks bigger as they got powerful. Now, looking at the training thing or looking at the skills, they seem to be able to level up by three. And three would be the max. <laughs> so you'll have a pretty big Kamehameha as you level it up. So that's pretty dope that they did that right there. I really do like that. I think that is really, really cool. So that is awesome. And like I said, according to Kenzaru, let's just go look him up real quick. Um, Kenzaru. V -Y. It just popped up. And Zaru, I should have already had it. That ain't Ken. You know what? Let's just go to my page. Let's go back to let's go back to mine. Cause I tagged him in it so I could just click on it there. Because he he showed some stuff um with the teleporting. Uh that's not it. Oh Rob nope, nope, nope. Okay, this is it right here. As you can see right here, he says here, some of you might already know this, but the speed of your character also increases as you train more and as you level up. Here is level five speed versus level 40 speed. And we picked up on this with the Vegeta gameplay and stuff like that. But I think that's really dope that their speed increases. We talked about this with training as well. Remember what we said about training? We wanted them to have a modes in training where you can increase your special attack, make your special attacks better, bigger. And also do like speed training that would give you increases to speed. Now, I don't know if they'll actually do it that way or if you just level up everything in a sense. But I think that that's really cool that they put that in there as well. So uh, going back to Bandai Namco's page uh, here, let's get into the meat of what we came to talk about and the soul emblems and the communities, because that's what's going to require more depth. We're going to do more about training in another video, but I did want to show you all that. OK, so it says acquire soul emblems as you progress through the story or sub quest in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Soul emblems will activate different aspects in the game. You can also power up your super attacks in the training ground. So 
looking at these real quick soul emblems now mind you guys there's four pages of this one out of four pages and there's what three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one on this one page doesn't i don't know how many is on that last page but you know 20 and 4 that's what 80 and then you got four so it's about 84 different soul emblems that's a lot of people to meet within this game if it's 21 on each page now looking at them you have goku chi chi king kai boma um popo um master roshi yard Jirobi, piccolo launch gohan which is teen or adult gohan there's a chance the other gohans could be in here as well the kid gohan you have plar vegeta mr turtle future trunks uh looks like dende tn marin goten and kid trunks and then you have two that are blank here so these are the so emblems that they have right here now what we want to look at is these flags dm gaming what does these flags mean these flags are the leaders or these are the leaders of the communities that are available in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now, will excuse me, will there be more leaders? <coughs> I'm not sure. I can only go with what we have right now. But Goku is the leader of the Z community. Chi Chi is the leader of the food eating health community. King Kai is the leader of the training community. Boma is the leader of the research and development committee community. I'm sorry. I keep saying committee. I mean community. Uh, Mr. Popo is the leader of whatever community that is. I don't know. It looks like uh, Kami's uh, insignia. So I, but I don't know the name of that community. Master Roshi is the leader of whatever community that's for. And I know people are going to see that and say, oh, my gosh, that's costumes. We could change our costumes. No. That's not necessarily what that means, uh, because they did say that the costumes or the attire that the characters wear are representative of what they was wearing at a particular time in the anime. Now, that doesn't mean that we won't be able to change clothing, but your clothing won't have stats. That's what they were saying, that the clothes don't come with stat boosts and stuff like that. But who knows? They could have put it in there. I don't know. So we don't know what this means. OK, speculate what you think that means down in the comment section down below. And then we have Yard Jirobi with the leader of the map committee or maybe the, the, the items on the has to do with items on the map and stuff like that. So each one of these are going to have their own logos on their own special community tabs, which I'm going to show you the one for Goku. And according to that, each one is going to have different boost stats associated with that. So looking over here to the next page, you see Goku is the Z. And what's in the background? It's going to be a Z. So for Chi Chi, uh, hers is probably going to be a plate. King Kai, Boma, Mr. Popo, Master Roshi, and Yarjirobi. They're all leaders of their particular community. Z Warrior community is with Goku. Now, what's interesting here is you have five empty slots. Who's going to fill that? Because you already have Goku, you have Vegeta, you have Gohan, Future Trunks, TN, and Piccolo. Piccolo. So who's missing is Chao Su, uh, Yamcha, Krillin, Goten, and Trunks. They make up the Z Warriors, okay? So once again, the people that are missing, Yamcha, Chao Tzu, Krillin, Goten, and Kid Trunks would make up the complete Z community. Now, I would imagine you would get some kind of a bonus uh, once you have all of them full feel because they're all connected to each other. And, and I, what I wonder is, does it matter where you place them as to what, you know what I'm saying? Do these lines have to connect? Like, does Gohan have to be right there or something to that effect? Or, you know, because you see Goku's connected to Piccolo and them connected to them too. Uh, and then Trunks would have to be connected to Kid Trunks, who would possibly be connected to Goten unless Goten's right there. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, but... Because you can remove emblems down here, you can see, and then you can see the so emblem detail, and then you confirm the bonuses. Okay, edit a community board. So you can move them around and stuff like that. Now, looking at Z Warrior community, overall level is 55. Now, how do they come to that overall level? Um, I don't know how exactly they calculate that. However, looking at it, if we were to add them up, you have 13 for Trunks, um, 8, 9, 10, 11, you have 12 for Vegeta. You have nine for Goku. Excuse me, I got a cough. Uh, you have nine for Tien. You have three for Gohan. 
And then you have nine for Piccolo. That equals 55. So what they're doing, your overall level consists of these numbers down here underneath the characters. Now, what these levels are, I don't know. It could be that I don't think it's their character levels because Goku at level three wouldn't be there. Vegeta wouldn't be on there with Goku at level three because they are playing dynamic and Goku's at least level five or six when he fights Raditz. You see what I'm saying? So I don't think that has anything to do with their character level. I think it has more to do with the level of friendship that you build with them. Because if you look right here, I don't know why these are like this. Perhaps they're generic. But if you notice on Dende's trunks, kid trunks and Goten's, they have a silver ring around it with two stars at the top. If you notice also, they have a meter. It looks like this is a meter that can fill up. OK, so they could be leveled up. Now, other these characters here uh, doesn't look like they can level up. Looks like their base, but I don't know. That's just something we have to get more information on at a later date. But their overall level is the addition of these these numbers down here all put together for the character. So that's very interesting. Now, you need two more levels to get up to rank number four. So if you had a character here and they were level two, then it would put you up to rank number four. OK, so active community skills support gauge. This shows the active community skills. And these are the list of community skills which you get at each level. Now, the community skills maxes out. It looks like at level 10 because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine is not shown here because the letters are in the way. But then you have max at level 10. At each one, you unlock new community skills. Now, you have Goku selected here for the Z Warrior community. Now, what my question is, is can you have multiple communities selected at the same time or do you have to just select one? OK, my guess is that all of these communities are open and available all at the same time, possibly. You know, like, say, for instance, uh, say Vegeta's associated with the training community. So if I have Vegeta on the Z community, does that mean that I could have him on the training community as well? I would like to think that you can mix and match on all communities because they all give different kind of community skills and bonuses. For example, the Z warrior community, of course, that has to do with fighting. So your attribute skills, <coughs> excuse me, that you increase have to do with fighting. For example, level one support gauge, initial value plus five. And the support gauge is with your support characters. If you notice uh, let me go to the gameplay here. See if I can get some gameplay of Piccolo Nim. Um, I would have to fast forward. It's not going to show it here until we get into a fight. But the community, I mean, the support gauge, you have Piccolo's icon there. Right here, if you see Piccolo's icon to the right, um, it's it's full. When, when Piccolo does support attacks, that gauge right above Goku's head, it's going to drain. That is your support gauge that determines what type of attacks and uh, how many attacks that they can do. Also, some of y'all was wondering in the Reddit post, do Goku's hair, do, does their hair move when they fly? If you look at Goku's hair close up, it does move as he flies. But that is the support gauge. Then at level two, you get melee attack plus one. Level three, you get key attack plus one. Level four, you get support gauge initial value plus 10%. Level five is melee attack plus four. Six is key attack plus four. Seven is support gauge initial value plus 15. Eight, level eight is melee attack plus seven. Level nine is key attack plus seven. And I know you can't see that, but that's what it says. That's the big K right there. You can see it. And it matches these two, which matches these two, which matches these two. They go hand in hand. And then level 10 or max level is support gauge initial value plus 50%. That is dope. Okay. Now, it doesn't let us click on these up here to go ahead and look at them, but you, you do have different communities. That's a Z Warrior community. I don't know what these other communities are named, but of course, Chi Chi is the head of this one. She's the leader of that one. And King Kai with the training community. Who would be involved in these with the training community? I imagine uh, Kame could be in there. He's not shown here. Vegeta. You could have some of the Z Warriors, Piccolo and them involved in training as well. Uh, because that's what they're involved in. Goku, even though he's a leader of the Z community, he could also be an emblem that you use in the training community, et cetera, et cetera. Like I said, what I want to know is what does Mr. Popo's mean? What does Kami, uh, Ki, uh, Master Roshi's mean? And then Yorajirobe, you know, he's the map. So mostly uh, some bonuses with Chi Chi could mean a boost to your eating. You get more stat boost with your health and stuff like that and your defense. 
Uh, King Kai, he could give you training boosts associated with with training. I mean, you know, uh, the XP that you get with training and stuff like that. Bonus research and development means the stuff that you collect and deal with in research and development, you'll probably get more out of that. Like I said, I don't know what Mr. Popo's emblem means. It's the Kame logo, the demon logo or whatever. I don't know what it's associated with. Neither do I for Master Roshi. So I don't know what their boost would be. Um, perhaps discovering characters in the open world or something like that for Master Roshi. Um, and then Yarjirobi, the map, more than likely his boost would involve possibly uh, being able to um, have those things. You remember in the, the logo at the top, the Dragon Radar with Goku? Uh, right here at the top and even with Piccolo, you see that arm flexing right here above that emblem on Piccolo. That's the training ground. So we know that deals with King Kai and stuff like that. So um, looking up here also, you can see different things that are on the map. You can see the same thing with Goku on his dragon radar. You can see the dinosaur that's not on Piccolo's, even though Piccolo is on Earth. And you can see those things right there. So maybe that's what Yarjirobis has to do with. Um, has to deal with being able to see things like that on the map. So it's a lot of information to take in, and there's still a lot more information and details to be announced with this. But that is the community tab and soul emblems and what they mean, as well as a little look into training. So, guys, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in for these videos. Very informative, and I apologize for the length of it, but it's a lot of information to process. But that's all I have for right now, y'all. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.